Too hype with the dough The bouncer check the meter and he can't ignore Fresh whole set, you know the deal Pulling up loud, too hype with the dough The bouncer check the meter and he can't ignore Fresh whole set, you know the deal If I cross the line, they gon' keep it real Yes, it is true Doing manual vocal alignment and pitch correction can sometimes yield better, more natural results than using tools that make it easier for us like Vocaline. But what if I told you you could still use these tools to get your time and pitch adjustments done even faster? Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at Repitch 2 and how I use it to help me tune and align my vocals with lightning fast speed, man. Let's jump into it. So I have a session here. In this session, we got a couple of, we got a lead vocal and a couple of doubles. Now these doubles will work on one track at a time. Now in this double, you'll hear that some of the timing and pitch are a little off from the lead. Let's hear it. Yo, hey yo, I'm pulling up loud. Too hype with the dough. The bouncer check the meter and he can't ignore. Fresh whole set, you know the deal. If I cross the line, they gon' keep it real. Second bounce to the side, ratio to law. Two to one, chill. Eight to one, he raw. All right, so you hear it's not terribly out of time, but it could sound so much better. And for mixing purposes, it'll sound a whole lot cleaner if we had those vocals synced up even better. So I'm gonna use the ARA repitch tool here in Pro Tools, we're just gonna go to that lead vocal track that we're gonna use as our lead, as our guide track, right? So we're gonna do that and let that go ahead and work and we'll go ahead and put Repitch on the double track as well. Now you see, in just a couple of seconds, Repitch has already analyzed all of the pitch and timing for this lead vocal. Now in this plugin, something that's new is this Smart Attack feature to where not only do it, does it, align and detect all of the pitch in the vocal so we can come in like you know and manually adjust the pitch of each and every section but we can now go in and adjust the timing as well so inside of repitch tool you'll see the these timing stalks that appear let me just adjust this up a little bit but each one of these stalks represent where repitch has detected an attack in our audio now those detected timing stalks of that uh attack we can then use that to actually move and change the timing of our audio. Let's, let's undo that real quick because we want to keep the everything original on that lead vocal for now. Here's where the power really comes in for me. Once I bring in my second track, check this out. I have the ability to pin the timing of that first one, right? And I can also see the pitch. So you see these white outlines? That is the lead track being overlaid on top, top of this guide track. Now you can already see where I'm going with this, especially when it comes to the timing. Watch how easy it is for me to adjust the timing having this overlay right on top where I need it. Yeah. Hey, yo, I'm pulling up loud. Right, so that first section. Yeah. Hey, yo, I'm pulling. Let's make sure we on the right track. Yeah. Hey, and we'll just keep our, I'm pulling up loud. right? That pulling up is a little fast there. So we can just come in and adjust that by moving these stalks. You can see the waveform. I'm pulling up loud. That sound better. Hey, yo, I'm pulling up. Right, let's scoot that back a little bit. Hey, yo, I'm pulling up loud. Hey. All right, that's a totally different word. Hey, yo, I'm pulling up loud. Too hype with the dough. The bouncer check the meter and he can't ignore. Right, and then it makes it very easy for you to see where the changes need to happen. You can just see where stuff is out of line. Hey, yo. And I love repitch because you can actually click right in here and change the playback zone. You don't have to keep going back up to the edit. No. Threshold set. Yeah, that sounds better. No. Threshold set. You know the deal. If I cross the line, no. If I cross the line, they gonna keep it real. Second by Okay. We just gonna keep tightening this up. If I cross the line, they gonna keep it real. Second bounce to the side. Ratio to law. Two to one, chill. Eight to one, he raw. If I cross the line, they gonna keep it real. Second bounce to the side. Ratio to law. Two to one, chill. Eight to one. Okay, let's get that back a little bit. One chill, eight to one, he raw. Attack come quick, shut me down on sight. Oh, he's chill, eight to one, he raw. Attack come quick, shut me down on sight. All right, so that on sight. Chill, 
Shut me down on sight. I can hear that that on. Shut me down on sight. It's a little bit different pitch. Shut me down on sight. And it's causing some problems with that section there. I'm just gonna switch over to the pitch tab real quick. I hit play. This is another thing I like. I just hit play and it automatically locates where I'm at. I'm gonna drag the pitch up here. Let's just grab that. Shut me down on sight. Sounds so much better. Attack come quick. Shut me down on sight. Oh, he's slow with it. Right, and then you can even come here and right, and you see we can see all of our different pitch variations that we can just come up and fix these real quick. And I can see that this section, not only is it the pitch, but it's also the timing. Attack come quick, shut me down on sight. Oh, you slow with the hands, let me shine bright. Release. Now, the dope thing is I can then take those timing adjustments that I've made and let's go ahead and use Vocaline as well. So we'll put our instance of Vocaline on here and what we'll do is go back to the repitch. This little button down here at the bottom left corner will copy this timing information that we just changed from here over to Vocaline. And we'll capture this whole thing as our guide. And then we'll come down using that same selection. We'll capture our dub and boom. Now everything should sound perfectly aligned. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo, I'm pulling up loud. Too high to the dough. The bounce to check the meter and he can't ignore. Threshold set, you know the deal. If I cross the line, they gonna keep it real. Second bounce inside. All right, child. So now you can see how using modern tools to help us do even manual processing can really speed up the process and just make it way more efficient. I'm gonna be using repitch to do my alignment, man. For me, having that overlay is probably the biggest improvement to just speed and being able to move super quickly throughout the session. Let me know what y'all think. Will you be using repitch to help you do your manual vocal alignment and tuning, or are you gonna keep doing it the old school way? I'm Wavy Wayne from wavyproaudio.com. Hope this video has been helpful. Be dope, man.